Discoveries are made in Dr. Aphra issue 4. Realizing that the Wookiee was just a distraction, the Imperials led by Captain Tovlin head back towards the temple where the beams of light are coming from. At the temple, Aphra tells her father to hurry up with gathering his readings. As they go to leave, troopers rush the stairs, forcing them to find another way to escape. BT, being the killer robot he is, quickly dispatches of most of them with some thermal detonators. Finding the main hall, Aphra holds off the remaining troopers while BT and Triple Zero escape with her father, only to find an AT-80 waiting for them outside. When the walker is ordered to open fire, Aphra's ship arrives, piloted by Black Caristian. Amidst the confusion, this allows them to quickly board the ship with the help of some smoke from BT. As the ship dodges fire from the walker, Aphra's father tries to rescue her from falling off the ramp, saying if she didn't do field work like this, she would have her tenure already. Escaping to space, Aphra asks where they are going next, which surprises her father, seeing as he thought she would be mad at him and they would want to get into an argument. He gives her the coordinates to the Citadel of Aurora. Back on Yavin 4, Captain Tolvin reports to Admiral Ozil, alerting him to the possible rebels they encountered, but they don't have enough data to find out what they were here for. Ozil warns her not to fail again, as people such as Darth Vader are not as forgiving as he is. Dropping out of hyperspace, Aphra and her team arrive at the Citadel on the half-destroyed moon. Landing, they discover the bodies of lightsaber-wielding beings. So yeah, this was quite an action-packed issue of Dr. Aphra. Uh, lots of action here, didn't really further the story along all that much besides near the end where we moved off of Yavin and into this new location which is some, I guess, Jedi temple, Sith temple or something. We're not really too sure who the lightsaber wielding dead beings are. We obviously haven't seen what color their lightsabers are or uh, what exactly this citadel is but I imagine next issue we will. And uh, yeah, it was actually a pretty cool issue just seeing these uh, people working together to try and escape the Imperials and everything and I like that BT has like a, a scooter option as well. You can like put like these little ramps down for Triple Zero to get on the back of him and use him as like a like a little old person scooter sort of thing. I thought that was pretty neat and something we actually haven't seen before, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it was a really cool issue. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section below or follow the links on screen now to other reviews or topic videos. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe for more weekly reviews and videos.